The Canon PowerShot SX510HS has a 12.1 megapixel back illuminated CMOS sensor which is a 4 million pixel drop in resolution from the 16 megapixel CCD we saw in the SX500. On top of that is the back illuminated technology to increase low light sensitivity and the change from a CCD which records sharper images, to a more fuel efficient, but softer, CMOS. Still, in our review of the SX500 we got noise showing through at the low ISO settings, so hopefully, this change in sensor will obviate the noise problem. However, the ISO sensitivity has been raised from ISO 1600 to ISO 3200. The Canon PowerShot SX510HS is styled like a bridge camera and has manual control, yet Canon have placed it outside this category and instead placed it in the super zoom section. That particular cap still fits and it's most likely that the SX510 HS isn't in the bridge section because of the lack of raw recording. Because of the large zoom lens, the camera has an oversized grip to the right so that you can hold on firmly due to the increased weight when compared to a compact camera with a more modest zoom. The shutter release sits on top of the grip with the zoom switch circling it. The command dial that sports the aforementioned manual controls is situated just behind with a slight overlap of the back to access it with the thumb. It's unlikely you'll do this though because it's quite firm. We found ourselves using our fingers as well. That's not a bad thing. In fact we'd rather have a wheel that won't slip out of the mode we've selected. Two other new features to the Canon PowerShot SX510HS are GPS and Wi-Fi connectivity. The camera does need a smartphone to connect through and it also uses the phone's GPS system to log with its own. So don't be under any reservations that the SX510HS has a GPS system. It doesn't. It simply ties in the GPS details with your phone to the time and date information that it has recorded with each picture. Of course that means you have to have the date and time correct on the camera.